Parents of students at the Rosa Parks Early Learning Center expressed concern and outrage tonight over video showing a paraprofessional hitting a child. Dayton Public Schools interim superintendent met with those parents to talk about what comes next. Two News reporter Seth Bird spoke to parents leaving that meeting. They say they are still waiting for answers. Seth? Meeting were not allowed inside tonight's meeting at Rosa Parks Learning Center, but parents who attended tell me they are frustrated with how the school district handled the situation. Like my heart just dropped because all I kept thinking about is if that was my baby. Parents of students at Rosa Parks Learning Center are demanding answers since a video showed three-year-old Braylon Lindsay being knocked down by a paraprofessional, then carried back to class upside down by his ankles. They said this child was nonverbal. My daughter wouldn't be able to express that someone hit her or hurt her. So that is, it's just very troubling. It really is. Three weeks after the incident took place was when parents found out a detail many are upset by, saying that Dayton Public Schools should have notified parents as soon as it happened. Why won't we notify? Why, 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 why did we hear about, why did we hear about this through the news? Why? Smith's daughter is three years old and autistic. She said her child's experience has been positive so far, but the district will now have to regain her trust. How they're going to handle this situation, how they're going to move forward, what it's going to look like, what are they going to do to this teacher? I feel like the teacher needs to be stripped of his license. They don't need to be teaching in any district. The paraprofessional in the video resigned shortly after the video surfaced. Many were happy a meeting was held, but left it wanting more clarity. Going back to they, they can't answer this question, they can't answer that question. It's hard to trust anybody when they don't answer your questions directly and they don't. And I know it's, it's pretty new, but for them to have a plan to come up with, but they should have had something already in place. School Board President Dr. Cassandra Goodwine says the meeting was helpful for the district. I think we have a pretty robust system right now, but there's always ways to improve it. So that piece right there, there was a lot of feedback that was provided today, and I think our district is really going to take that under consideration and really figure out what we can do to make sure parents are aware of things that they need to be aware of timely. Parents say they asked if the former paraprofessional would face legal consequences and are not sure if that's the case. Live in studio, Seth Bird, 2 News.